Live pictures from a neighborhood in Dearborn Heights. It is really dark and mostly quiet aside from the hum of generators as people wait for their electricity to be restored. At this hour, the number is 346,762 customers. That's still a lot of DTE customers without power. It is about 100,000 fewer than earlier this afternoon when a top DTE executive said their goal for tonight would be 90% of customers getting their power back. Good evening. I'm Devin Skillion. Good to have you with us at 11. Kimberly Gill is off tonight. Work continues at restoration this evening, but progress was slowed with the high winds that snapped lines in our north zone overnight, and that meant a good portion of today has been spent going back to secure and shut down more of those live wires. Mara McDonald is live in Dearborn Heights tonight. Uh, Mara DTE tells us those lines have been secured and taped off, but not surprisingly, restoration has gotten a bit of a boost from that. It, it, it has, Devin. I mean, let's let's be clear. There has been progress that is made here. The problem, however, is that you still have several hundred thousand people who do not have power right now. And, you know, normally I would say, you know, let me show you something. Well, it's so dark out here, I can't. So instead, why don't we all just take a listen for a second here? DTE crews on the move tonight as restoration efforts continue, but frustrations already pretty high today all over the metro are really the colder it gets tonight, reaching a boiling point. DTE needs to understand that not everybody is going to leave their houses. I have little dogs. I'm not leaving them here alone to freeze. Pam Foster got through Wednesday's storm just fine. It was Thursday early in the morning hours when their power went out and the current restoration expected isn't until Monday. She's had it. They have seen no linemen in the area but a DTE pickup truck scouting. She's frustrated, she's cold, and she's worried her pipes are going to burst. They should be ashamed of themselves. There's no excuse for this. I don't really know what you're doing, but like if you don't have enough people then go to another state or something because like in Michigan, we need power. Back here, back here alive, Pam's thoughts on this. It, she's not alone and it is not simply people who are on streets like this tonight that have no power. There have been members of our congressional delegation and there have been members of the state legislature that have been pretty vocal on social media over the last 48 hours about how displeased they are with DTE's performance. We're live in Dearborn Heights tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. To the hum of all those generators we can hear behind you. All right, Mara.